the Pro Vice Chancellor put together the Educational and Instructional Technology Support Unit. This team is made up of the financial group, we have the, the communication group, we have the technical group, we have ITS, and we have the content or instructional support group. We put together the implementation plan, make sure that the plan was solid, and to be able to provide students the best learning experiences. It was um, very exciting working with the technical team. And um, I would say it was a learning curve for us. The main motivation here was the fact that we were propelling the university to the next level. You know, the technical team was more or less the uh, wheel on which the university was running. So you can imagine. And I would say it was a privilege working with everybody in the team because everybody pulled their weight. And um, with the help of God, or by God's grace, we were able to pull this off. The instructional support team made up of 17 students and myself were tasked with the duty to take all lecturers' materials, format them and upload them onto the e-learning portal. There are times where students, some will have to leave because of the COVID, so the work had to double. I must say it was a Herculean task, but with the support of my team members, we were able to make it. We had sleepless nights. We were here throughout the COVID season. We had to manage to move from our various homes to this place. Most of the days we did 24 hours a day, apart from Fridays, so we do back to back. You work from morning to evening, you continue till the next day, you just wash down and you get back to work. It was a nice experience working with the team and uh, though we faced a lot of challenges, some uh, trying to convert their already prepared slides onto the, the value view uh, accepted templates so that we have a, uni a uniform template as a school. So just converting them were, were some of the challenges we faced. Aside that, helping some of the lecturers. <laughs> I know they, it was a difficulty, but sometimes we were like, he has to know, but some of them don't really know about it. So we had to help them. It was time for students to get onto the platform. They had several experiences. Some were pleasant, some were not. There were a few challenges here and there, like people attacking our service or hitting our service, building service from scratch, um, people struggling to use the system network connectivity issues but together the team worked tirelessly to make sure that each student had the best of experiences on the e-learning platform the health aspect of members of the team were taken care of through following all the protocols that were lined out by the president we provided soap and running water so that members washed their hands frequently and also entry into the room, we provided the dispenser for sanitizer to be used by members. Facial masks were made and provided for members to use so that communication from one person to the other is well carried out. Probably the most um, significant experience that I had was having to be around lecturers so much because I usually try and avoid stuff. My dad works here, but I dodge my dad's friends like crazy when hiding places. And I like it that way, I like to have my own space, but to be around people who all know my parents somehow, and to have all that and to have people I don't usually hang out with, it was a new experience. Um, I'm not very social, but I tried my best. At least for the first few weeks, I tried my best. Finally, we got to the time for exams. That was another challenging moment we needed to cross. But by God's grace, students started bringing up their challenges of not having been cleared for exam and all those. The financial section of the team resorted to using the mobile money application so that every student can make payments to their mobile money, irrespective of which network you are. And in some few hours, your account is credited. And from there, students can do their registration and do whatever they want to do with the school management system, which is the high school. We needed to work around the clock to make sure students were writing their papers had a free mind and were comfortable in writing. 
We are so highly indebted to the university administration for their kind support. The administration has been behind us solidly. They've provided us with all the resources we would need as a team. And together, they've given us the direction to be able to achieve this aim. We are grateful to all other stakeholders, students, faculty. They were patient with us. In fact, sometimes it was difficult for them, but they needed to understand us and they, they have been matured in their dealing with the team. Together, we have achieved this feat. If you ask me about what we've done, I'll tell you it's the best in the country so far. You know, on a scale of one to 10, I'll put this project at 8.5. Yes, you may disagree with me, but to me, I feel that is the truth. And if you should put this team together again to work on any project of this nature, trust me, they will deliver. So basically, that is it. And we are so grateful for everybody. Thank you.